Today's weather and severe weather threat for the rest of the week. A lot of concern about the Brazos River. As always, people who live along it watching the levels very closely. Our Brittany Jeffers spoke to many of them today. She's live in Richmond now. Brittany? Yeah, Bill and Dominique, we've been out here for a greater portion of the day. Within the last hour, we have seen the rain, the thunder, the lightning really pick up. This is our view right now from the storm tracker. You can see this rain just coming down in sheets. And this is the big concern, this rising water out here. Of course, this is going to be heading south. The rain, the runoff, this will be heading towards Rochera. Now, we I just checked in with one of our meteorologists, J Justin Stapleton, and he just pass along this information. He says that a portion south of us at the Brazos is expected to hit moderate flood level. That's going to happen sometime this evening, and that's expected to stay that way over the next couple of days. As you mentioned, emergency officials, county officials are keeping an eye on the water. We spoke to them today about their plan. Across Fort Bend County, all eyes are focused on the Brazos River. I've been here since 1973, and uh, Never ever felt as threatened by the river rising as I do today. It gets closer and closer by each hour. With the potential for rain this week and rising waters, we found Richmond City crews out assessing water levels. And in Rosenberg, barricades went up at Becerra and Brazos Park. It's just precautionary, only just to help keep citizens and children's away from from the from the rising waters at this at this point. Fort Bend County officials are also keenly aware. We're monitoring almost everything right now. We're currently right now utilizing some of our drones and footages to get a good aerial view for not only historical data, but also to make sure that we make right decisions with the counties and jurisdictions. The Fort Bend County judge and emergency management coordinator are keeping a close watch on the water and potential impact countywide. They say they're currently sending out two situation reports daily. We are monitoring the situation at the moment no and don't be panicky live your life and you know be cautious so emergency management uh, mentioned they're going to be sending out those updates they're also doing this via social media we've been watching facebook and twitter where they've also been sending up sending out updates but the main focus they say over the next five days we'll be watching uh, you know infrastructure river banks and neighborhoods all around this area as, as this is a very fluid situation. Bill and Dominique. Okay, thank you.